Hello guys, it's Rad. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Rad Kutarot, and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and uh, Leo Rising. Weekly tarot reading for uh, April 8th to April 14th, 2019. And uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for uh, Leo Star Sign. And for that reason, the reading itself uh, is going to relate to different things and is going to resonate in a different way with uh, every single different Leo. But if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot, just like I'm doing for the few examples uh, that I'm going to give you in this video and to uh, tell you what is going to happen with it in the future, uh, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there uh, you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So that being said, Leos, let's go to... Um, oh yeah, and by the way, uh, the uh, because I do have this frequent question, how much you charge for readings? So I'm saying it in the video right now, uh, the charges for a recorded readings are starting from just as little as $12 and for a private call readings are from $15 US. So that being said, going to Leo uh, spread first, I, uh, to, to the Leo spread in general, you know, and the first card that it uh, marks the Leo's topic for the week, that is going to be the, uh, the strength card, followed by the second one, which is uh, the uh, negative, incorporation that Leo can do toward the uh, topic of the week here that is going to be the Six of Swords, followed by the uh, next card which is the positive approach toward the situation which means you know kind of like intentions, goals, aims and so on and so forth or actions in general. That will be the Page of Wands and the last one which is the final outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of tarot here guys that will be the king of cups so once again we do have the uh, strength card followed by the six of swords after that what we do have this is going to be the page of wands and the last one that will be the king of cups all right, lovely. So, uh, Leo, this uh, is going to be a very enthusiastic week. It is, um, how can I display it? So, the strength card as a topic of the week, it does point few, to a few things. First of all, the strength relates with great enthusiasm. So, whatever you are to do in this week is going to be a good thing. It is because you're going to feel enthusiastic about Usually related to breakthroughs and related to a very interesting endeavors and enterprises. So if you are bored to hell, you can expect that this week is going to be extremely kind of like uplifting. If I may express myself uh, that way. But the strength also associates itself with a little bit of predicaments in a sense of that the good things happen slowly. Meaning that you will have to endure through that week with patience or kind of like it is it, it does point to perseverance and endurance through patience just so one can endure enough to see their things coming to fruition which it's going to be related with you and with your endeavors therefore if something is difficult to execute you know and um, a particular enterprise kind of like gives you um, gives you a rough time that is a rather good thing because with this strength card, it means that you are pushing into the right direction. And on top of that, the strength points that you are going to have a, a very big um, self-esteem and as well self-confidence meaning that you will very well know what you are doing. You know, these situations where people will say, do you know what you're doing? Well, you definitely in this week, you are going to know what you're doing. So that is another sign that if you are feeling buffled and, and scattered and kind of like a, uh, uh, how can I place it, reluctant of what, how you should approach one situation, the right way of you approaching the situation is going to become obvious to you in the week, April 8th to April 14th, 2019. The accompanied card with the strength that is going to be the five of pentacles. So the catalyst here forms a, a formation of a active neutrals. And the five of pentacles is usually a bad card, but as an act, active neutrals, it does point to enthusiasm one will have to overcome predicaments and difficulties as the five of pentacles does represent minor trifles 
but there are a lot of them, you know, it's kind of like one is facing small difficulties, but on multiple fronts. Therefore, for example, if your relationship throughout uh, in the in this week that it is right now, not April 8th to April 14th, but rather April 1st to April 6th, it's, um, it's a bad week relationship wise, or you do have some a bad time regarding career, you are to find yourself quite determined to kind of like polish this, uh, these environments and sustain yourself or rather fix everything you, you are to facing in all of your aspects in front. So it's going to be a very good week for you Leos to grow and not, not exactly to expand, but rather to grow and solidify your current achievements. And on top of that, you know, having the enthusiasm to develop them even further. So going to the next card, which is the negative approach toward one situation, that is the Six of one uh, of uh, Swords, excuse me. So Six of Swords involves a, a risky move. It does involve where one does, it is not entirely sure how one thing is going to turn out, which we said with the first card that you are going to be very aware of what you want and how you want it, and you will be very aware of what you're doing. So you have to follow your original idea or rather like your uh, initi um, initial plan of how you are to sustain either your relationship or how either you are to sustain your uh, your career. With this card in a negative position, risky moves are the last thing that you want to do, especially if these risky moves are um toward an end where it is very unpredictable what uh, what is going to happen uh, no no diff no different than uh for example um how can i display it doing something without knowing what is going to be the outcome of it it's kind of like 50 50 choice uh chance of thing to happen or not to happen let's say uh one is going through an, an experimental treatment so there is a uh, 50 50 ch chance it, is the treatment going to work or it's not going to work so these kind of like a uh, actions where you will not be able to foresee what the outcome is going to be and the outcome is completely based on chance you should restrict yourself of doing. Additionally to that, the Six of uh, Swords does uh, represent um, trying to, uh, how can I display it? Um, trying to convince people in your own personal righteousness and as well into your um, devotion and, and dedication to one idea. Uh, you should know with this card on a negative position that it is very unlikely people to understand where you're coming from and what you want to do. So uh, you throwing all these efforts to convince, for example, your family, you know, or your friends why you're doing the things that you are doing that you think are right and that they are right is going to be a waste of your breath and the waste of your time on top of that. So if people does not support you, just hearing the initiative idea, is, uh, it will be once again a, a waste of time, breath and energy to try to elaborate on those ideas. The additional card here that will be the two of pentacles. So the formation is active enemies and with the two of pentacles here it does look like guys that uh, how can I display it? Um, the you Oh, well, it's it's very difficult. So the Six of Swords asks you not to take any risks. And with the Two of Pentacles into this uh, as a catalyst position, it does point that you can traverse a risky move into a, a very consistent one. It's going to take a lot of uh, experimenting and a, a lot of researching as well. Uh, it's completely optional for you. Just so you know that, for example, if you are uh, trying to, let's say, uh, propose to someone to be together, that is just an an example here guys uh, with these cards you know trying to convince them uh, of your initial uh, of your initiative uh, initial idea you know why uh, you find them attractive uh, they they may not believe you you know they may think that you kind of like a are making a prank or something like this but with the two of pentacles if you make up your research about what that person likes you know and, and what they get what what they are enthralled from and so on and so forth it is likely that you are to find a way for their uh, th toward their heart 
Uh, I'm not sure, however, that it works the toils. Uh, with the two of pentacles, there, uh, the process goes through a lot of adaptation, you know, and a lot of things has to be done off your way. So it's kind of like you should not be the, your, yourself when you're doing these things. So that is a, another, uh, another sign here that you should follow yourself, your criteria, you know, your, uh, and your goals and your aims uh, throughout this uh, week and do them the way that you think it's right. Although, you know, many may not understand where you're coming from and the very reason, you know, why you are doing those things, either into your career or either into your relationship. And even if that's, a, let's say, a, a problem solving thing, you know, people may not understand why do you want to solve that problem as this problem? is just a trifle you know and it is something that they see unsubstantial or it's not substantial at all for your well-being so going to the next card which is the positive approach toward the situation that is going to be the page of uh, wands so the page does point to a singularity. I mean, here throughout the week, you are to recognize, you know, how truly strong you are. And especially spirit wise, in the sense of that even many trifles, they were unable to uh, knock you off balance and they were una uh, unable those the appearance of those trifles was unable to uh, make you give up. Of the situation make you give up on your marriage make you give up on your project make you give up on your relationship uh, additionally to that the page urges you to be open for everything new in a sense of new means you know in a sense of as well new suitors new job propositions and so on and so forth we, and as a matter of fact let's give it that example a, a new job offer could be the very mean uh, that you need in order to overcome current predicaments into your current job and people may not understand why you are abandoning this position of uh, you know of sovereignty and power let's say to swap it for a, a new job but once again as you should not make a risky move that new job should be very well negotiated just so you know but uh, with uh, the page here guys you can definitely provoke a um a new fresh wind in your life, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. Should it be a relationship, it will be very beneficial for you with the page to, to uh, try to initiate new enterprises, you know, do things that you haven't done until now, either into your marriage or either into your relationship. And same, same things really goes regarding your, uh, regarding your career. Try to approach your projects from a different angle. Um, appear uh, or kind of like try to be original thinker in the sense of that try someone an orthodox approach toward the project itself even if it does look stupid at the start it may really bring uh, things into a, a fruition with uh, the page of wands but you with this card you have to be open for any kind of idea that comes to you uh, comes to your mind and even if it does look stupid at the start uh, you should give it time at least you know to develop itself in your mind that is and uh, as time passes on you are to see that the idea is not as stupid as you initially thought it is the additional card here that is going to be the page of pentacles so the formation is active neutrals here and the page in the, these couple of pages are pointing that you should not give yourself way too much attachment into one specific uh, how can i place it you should not attach yourself into just only one way how you can do things but once again with the page you should experiment with um uh, with uh, with the many ways of how you can approach either the problems into your career or the problems into your relationship if you do have any or how you are to approach the situation in general you know to breathe up a fresh wind in it uh, the the thing with these couple of pages when uh, when combined in the page of pentacles is in um is in a catalyst position is that you may not be very aware what is gonna take in order to push your things through and that's why it will be important at that point you know to just as i said experiment and try what works for you but what works according to what you are investing in which means once again that you should not risk anything all right i mean you need to keep your possessions safe and in check uh, possessions uh, that includes you know emotional state includes time and so on and so forth your entire being if that being said so if one thing kind of requires a lot of investment and you are not sure how it's going to turn out at the end 
it is um, it is quite advisable with these cards Leo's not to invest into that direct direction for throughout the week just stick guys with what you know to be true and what you know that works even like I said that other others may not truly understand you of why you are doing all these things and at the end uh, if you do all that we do have this person manifesting now it does depend what uh, in what kind of a field this person is going to manifest itself career friendship or a relationship this person could either help you a lot uh, this person is going to give you a helping hand which there is no reason for you to refuse it it will be completely honest and pure helping hand with expectations of nothing in return it's just they will help you because they find that you're a good person or because they do have emotional attraction and connection uh, with you or especially career wise that is a, a person who gives you a, a very very good gaining for and tempting offer as well that you should take on now usually that person manifests itself as a very balanced very ex experienced one who has let's say a, a poker face in the sense of that they do not make their emotions to be read by other people but in the same time, they are capable of a very, very deep feelings and very deep emotional attachment, which is very good if you are single and that person manifests itself for you. It means that they will be completely loyal and faithful with a potential for a, a deeper emotional connection, meaning, you know, kind of like a, a relationship formation. But that will be further into the future and it does depend how you're going to take on that. Like I said, there is no reason for you to refuse their appearance, but you can if that doesn't suit you all right so you do have a, an option at the end the accompanied card here this is going to be the um queen of uh, wands and this person is a, a very uh possessed in a sense of that they are completely enthralled by you in a sense of that they it's kind of like they are enthralled to a point where they're gonna go stupid uh it's very difficult to explain it but let's say that you are going to have a, a full control upon them and you will be able to boss them around. Even if that is a attempting career offer or that is a uh, um, kind of like, you know, attempt of a, a relationship formation here, what we do have. This person is going to lose your mind with the Queen of Wands here into this formation, which is a passive, uh, passive enemies. So he will not want to see the negative sides of your human nature. Everybody has a negative side of, in their human nature. And that person just will not want to see your uh, negative sides because he is going to completely be enthralled by your positive sides of your character and like i said you know you can forge a, a very very good partnership with a person who will always have your back or a, a very long-term relationship should you have the patience you know and as well if your criteria is really fit with that person because yeah he's going to be emotionally devoted but he may not be handsome you know he may not be rich and so on and so forth so just just so you know emotional uh attachment it is not the only prerequisite that one needs for one relationship i know that you all are gonna say it is the only thing we need but it believe me it's not i mean Maybe, maybe it is for the start, but afterwards, you know, people just want more. It is our, it is our nature. We just want more. So it will be advisable here not to rush in it straight away, not take the risk, just like we said, but try to get to know each other better. Even if that is about a um, business partnership or a co-work cooperation, so on and so forth. Don't, do not commit entirely uh, in it, but allow yourself to get this person uh, to know him better. So that being said, Leos, this was your weekly tarot reading for April 8 to April 14, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, this was your general reading for Leo Star Sign, uh, which means that this reading is going to relate 
for different things and it's going to resonate in a different way with every single different Leo. But if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to tell you what is going to happen with it in its future, uh, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rat signing off now. See you next time. Bye.